a good ride. Let me catch my breath for a while. All right. Hey everyone, my name is Tu Ye, and I'm here to teach you about physical education, or in other words, PE. But first, here's Coach Patrick, and he's a PE teacher. He will be teaching you about the importance of PE. Coach? I'm Coach Patrick, physical education teacher at Clovis High School. Exercise is very important as a daily activity to build a strong body and to have a strong mind. If you eat junk food like M&Ms or Snickers or Oreos or hot Cheetos, just don't eat too much. Whoa, you guys got it pretty quick. Hold on, let me catch my breath first. Okay, now kids, like I said earlier, well, I'm gonna teach you guys about PE, or physical education. But first off, let's go to your other teacher, Mr. Tang Lee. He's gonna show you kids how to do push-ups. Hi everyone, my name is Tang Lee, and I'm gonna show you the proper way of doing a push-up. One push-up helps, it's your tricep. And to do this, you must first get into a push-up position. This type of push-ups help you build your triceps. You have to be at least your shoulder length apart, like this. Your body will also have to be straight, like this. This kind of push-up will help you build up your tricep. You have to stop at a 90 degree angle and just keep pushing up and down. Great job, kids. Now that you're done with that, we're all done with push-ups now. Let's move on to Mr. Steven Yang, who will teach you how to do modified curl-ups. Boo! Did I get you? Not even a little tiny bit. Oh, oh, I failed. Anyways, hi, my name is Steven. And as our tank said, I'll be showing you guys proper curl ups. These workouts, you could do them at home whenever you're feeling like you're not doing anything at home to keep yourself active. And for these workouts, it works out your abs. Okay, now let's get down on the ground to show you the proper way of doing them. Okay, kids, now to do curl ups, you will need to be laying on your back. But first, you must have your knees up high like this and equally adjusted. And your legs need to be as a triangle shape like this. Okay kids, now that you're done with your leg section and you're laying down on your back, I would want for you to have your hands to put behind your neck like this. And as you're going up for curl ups, all you need to do is just pull your head and your, your elbows to your chest, just like this. You would like to hold it in this kind of position for at least four to five seconds. And as you're done, you pull it back down. Remember, do not go past that length. Because if you do, you're gonna have some muscle strains on your neck and that will not be a good feeling. Good job, kids. Kids? Oh, good job, kids. Now you guys know how to do curl ups and they can help build up perfect abs for you. The next exercise, two, is gonna help you with doing squats. All right, kids, now to do a proper squat, it's just like sitting without a chair. You want to spread out your feet, shoulder length apart. You could either put your hand forward or on your waist. And then all you have to do is just sit. The angle you want to get for a squat is have your leg 90 degrees angle. My calf and my thigh 90 degrees. All in L shape. Good job kids. You guys finished all the exercises. You guys did great. Now remember kids, do these exercises three to four times a week. While doing these exercises, at least have 20 minutes of doing these exercises per day. Before having these exercises, always remember to eat healthy because junk food will not help you through these exercises. Now last but not least, you must stretch before doing any of these exercises because if you don't, you might end up with muscle cramps and it will hurt. You can do these exercises in PE. You can also do them outside of PE. You can also do them at home. You guys want to race? Sure. Hold up, guys. Hold up. Thank you, kids, for joining us today. Goodbye and stay active. Oh my! Ice cream. Where? Where? See you next time, kids. <laughs> <laughs>